Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm diving into one of the most exciting AI tools, CleanGI. CleanGI is an advanced AI video generation platform that can transform your text, image, or even multiple visual elements into cinematic video clips. Here's an intro which I made in Clink. CleanGI is truly an amazing tool, especially for those people who want to turn their renders into dynamic and storytelling visuals. It understands lightning, perspective, and atmosphere in a way that it feels completely natural and realistic. So let's go to CleanGI. Uh, I'm going to synapse through my Google account. Here you can see examples of other people's work. So here you can choose which version of Clink you want to use. For sure, I'm going to use the newest one, Turbo 2.5. Then you can choose between elements of frames. Uh, select the mode, I will choose professional, the video time, 5 or 10 seconds. This section is your generation history. So, there are four main generation types. First, text video, so you could describe scene and words and clean could turn it into video. Image to video, it's clear you upload image and get the video and elements to video. So in this case, you can use few images and make a video from it. Also, so here is multi-element generation type and it available only in version 1.6. It lets you replace uh, any object or add or remove object in your existing video. So sometimes it also can be useful. Now for my projects, I don't really use text to video because I usually work with specific projects, but I use image to video a lot. There is two basic modes, standard and professional. Standard, it's like fast, cheap, quick result, but it not always looks natural and good. And for sure, you have to use professional mode because yes, it's slower, it's more expensive, but it delivers the best quality. So for my work, I will always choose professional mode. Well, let's test three prompts and see how accuracy affects result. Here, let's compare uh, how prompt affects the result. So in the first option, I just uh, type add feathers. And as you can see, it's a bit off. Yeah, I, I wouldn't use it. And the next one, I'm going to type the feather starts appear and go up in the room. Scene feels light, calm, and elegant, photorealistic, ultra detail, cinematic. That's better, but first, I don't like the color of the feathers, and second, it's still concentrated more like in two places, not like in the whole room. So, with the last prompt, I achieved the best result. Here, let's look at it. The more precise your prompt, the better the result. But don't overcomplicate it with too many instructions. You just need to keep a good balance. So, the best prompt formula is first subject, it's like the main focus of the video, person, object, animal, like wherever. Next, it's movement, how the object gonna move, and camera movement. Uh, next, it's background or environment, it's like uh, set, some specific setting, lightning, atmosphere, and uh, in the end, it's good to add like cinematic, ultra realistic, calm atmosphere, like wherever. So next, let's try to do something with uh, version 2.5. So I choose this image, uh, type the prompt, 
and here is the result yeah i wanted to change it to night scene and i think it's pretty good because um i like that uh, environment is blue and i like this contrast between warm and cold and also it identifies all the lamps correctly and lightens them up so i really like the result next i will use start and end frame I use this option most often and it actually just recently became available in Turbo 2.5 before it wasn't available in this option. So let's try it. Just press generate and as you can see uh, it costs 25 credits. Yeah. Yeah, in general we get very smooth transition. I think it's very nice. I definitely can use it in my projects. So in this case, I had an image with a girl which I generated in Anabanana. Uh, okay, I generated this video. Then I downloaded it, just dropped it into Photoshop. And here in Photoshop, I can choose uh, the shot. Uh, from which I want to make an image and and uh, yeah, I'm gonna export this image. Open and clean again and run the prompt for the video. You see, I actually tried both versions when camera tilts down and tilts up. And I like more version when camera tilts up. I think I think it's more natural. Uh, next, let's work with uh, elements. Uh, for the main image, I use this beautiful shot of uh, architecture. And uh, I choose this woman. I want her to be in this video. And here you can see that when you upload an image, you can choose which object or which person uh, you want to use in your video. For example, here, for example, if I want to use this uh, swimsuit, I can just type on it, you see. But I'm gonna cancel because I don't want it. And I'm just gonna work with the exterior shot and the woman. So here is the result. I would say it's not perfect because I wanted her to be inside the pool all the time. But actually, I couldn't achieve this like perfect result, and uh, there is no drops of water in her body. Sometimes you have to run a prompt a few times to get the best result. In general, I think this shot is good to start a presentation of a house, for example, for real estate, and I could definitely use it for it. Yeah. Next, I want to show you some additional tools, which like there is no guarantee that you're gonna use but it's definitely good to know that it's there and it can be useful sometimes. I want to show you how motion brush works. So for example, I have a cat and I want him to move in a specific direction. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select this cat, show the path, yeah. And also I have to show the static area, static area Static area shows the elements which I don't want to be moved. In this case, I don't want any camera movement, so I just gonna like draw it across the whole image. And just drive the prompt cat slowly walking out of the room. Camera is static. And yeah, I get this result and I, I think it's pretty good here. Yeah. Next, I want to show you some additional tools. This one I, I think actually is pretty useful, is that you can extend video, but you can do it only in version 1.5. So for example, here I want uh, to add a woman which sits on the couch. Yeah.
you see because we na uh, you see because we have the spoof uh, she sits at the end of the sofa but still this function great and you can extend video up to three minutes I'm actually super excited for when this option will be available in the latest version version because uh, I think it's super useful but let's see how motion control works Here you can apply any movement uh, to the certain human. You can choose from existing movement or you can upload video uh, with your own movement. As you can see, it, it doesn't work perfect. Her face is a bit off. I hope this will improve in future, but for now, it's good to know that it's there. Also, there is some ready-to-use sets of effects. You can find it here. Uh, for example, let's try this one. I think it can be used uh, as a start for a video presentation of the project. So I, I think this particular effect uh, may be useful sometimes, yeah, but you can look up to other effects too. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, click this like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so we won't miss the next video. And next time we're gonna talk about Nana Banana because actually there is a lot of new stuff we have to talk about. So thank you for watching and see you next time.